Hey, right? I got a reply from that ad I put in the paper. Twang Fashions Limited, 21 Duke Street. Hey, they want their offices decorated. Signed, Kenneth Butterfield Area Manager. That sounds all right. You can count me out. I have. I can manage on my own and keep all the profits. I shall make a lot more than you will on that stupid survey job, too. We'll see about that. Yes, we will. Here's some more I collected over the weekend. Oh, that's great. We're getting on nicely. Oh, and Tim, there's one I couldn't complete. I had to go back for it. Otherwise, I've finished that area. Where do I go next? Ah, uh, let me see. Come in. Mike! This is Michael Selby, the young man I told you about. Mike, this is Tim Medway. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Anne says you want to work as a coder. I said what? A coder. Coding the information we get in on the questionnaires. So that we can produce results for our clients. Results? Oh, you mean, um... This is the sort of thing we end up with. This. And this. And these. Blimey. Do you understand that sort of thing? Oh, sure. Those are results of surveys we've done in the past. You can hang on to them if you want. Oh, tough. We'll talk about it in a minute. I must get Anne off to work first. Hey, we want to come in here with you. No, you're not an interviewer. You work here in the office. Oh, right. Yes, I, I, I got the memo this morning. Look, surely it doesn't mean that... Uh, come in. Look, can't you have a word with Donaldson? Uh, see if he'll agree to... Uh, yes, yes, I know you're a busy man. But, Harry... Harry! Oh, dear. We've been cut off. Hello? <coughs> oh! Did, did you want to see me? But, yeah, yeah. Uh, m my name is Lucas, Sam Lucas. You replied to my advert about the decorating. Oh, that. But I, I'm rather afraid there's been a change of plan. Eh? Look, will you excuse me? I, yeah. I need a drink. Oh. The fact is, I, I'm having a bit of trouble. My secretary walked out on Friday. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And, and this morning, I, I got a memo from head office. This is only a branch office, you see. And they're thinking of closing it down. Closing? So there's not much point in having it decorated, is there? Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry, would you care to...? No, no, I never bothered that way, unless you insist. <clears throat> you finish that area. Julia is working on the Hartford Estate. Mary and Alice are covering North Park. How about the Langwood area, starting with Thorn Avenue? Whatever you say. It's a one and two area, so we may get negative answers. All part of the game, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, well, uh, to be quite honest with you, I need this job. Yeah, I, I see your point. I, I need one, too. Oh, oh thanks. Uh, uh, cheers. Uh, cheers. You see, I've got responsibility. It, it's my grandson. He depends on me. Oh, you have a grandson. Yeah. So do I. Just three months old. Oh, no, mine's a bit older than that, but he's a nice little, uh, yeah. little chap. <laughs> Uh, won't you sit down? Uh, yeah. Oh, I do wish they'd let me keep the office open, but sales haven't been very good, you see. Oh, it's not my fault. Uh, they say the sales potential isn't high enough. Sales what? There aren't enough people around here who want to buy our products. What products? Uh, well, these, for example. Twang top t-shirts. Uh, these are just samples. Because yeah. my grandson, he, he likes T-shirts. Uh, I mean, couldn't you tell your head office that there is a sales to pen for, for, for what, what you said? Potential. Yeah. Uh, I have done. But they just don't believe me. Yeah, but if you could prove it, I mean, would they keep the office open? Oh, certainly. And then you'd need it decorated. If they keep the office open, you get the job, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now, is everything clear so far? Uh, Mike hasn't done this kind of work before. Ah. Sorry, yes. Perhaps I ought to explain. Uh, it might help. You know we're doing a survey. To get the facts and figures, right? The council will only give us a limited amount of money. Well, that makes sense. So we can't afford to visit every house in Watford. That would need dozens of interviewers. So what we do is take a sample. Sample? Well, we could visit one house in every hundred at random. But in this case, 
we've chosen to visit every house in small areas. These. For instance, this area is mostly council houses. Yeah, that's, that's where I live. Ah. <laughs> and this is an estate of small private houses. Here's an area in the centre of town and another on the outskirts. This one, Langwood, is full of big houses with well-off people. Social groups one and two. Now, most of them won't need the council services, so they will answer no to most of the questions. Well, then why bother with them? Well, the no's are important, too. If we want a complete picture of the town as a whole, rich and poor, big family, small family, so on and so on. Well, how can it be complete if you're not going to go there, for instance? Ah, well, that's another council estate. If we did go there, we can be pretty sure we would get much the same answers on that estate as we did on this one. So we don't need to go there. Sounds a bit of a cheat to me. Cheat? Certainly not. Well, the survey may be limited, they always are, but the results apply to the whole lot. That sampling, Steve, pick a few examples which are typical of all the rest. The great thing is to choose your sample carefully. Otherwise, you may end up with completely the wrong picture. That wouldn't do at all. <laughs> what, well, you mean there's other people with granddads just like mine? Oh, I feel sorry for them. Well, others wouldn't be exactly the same. We're not dealing with individuals. They always differ. We are dealing with figures, statistics. Mm. I must be off. I'll see you. Uh, um, tonight, maybe. Now, Mike, about wages. We pay fairly well, about 5% above the national average. Well, yeah, well, uh, never mind about these statistics. Let's get down to the individual. Ken, I've got it. Give your head office facts and figures. Figures? What you need is a survey. Survey? Oh, you mean ask people questions. Like, uh, have you bought a twang top t-shirt in the last six months? Will you buy another? That's the idea. Uh. The surveys cost money. No, not a big survey, only a little survey. I mean, ask a few questions. Pick the people out yourself, ask the questions yourself. I'll give you a hand if you like. What if we don't find anyone who has bought a twang top t-shirt? Well, I mean, it's, but you've got to be... Hey, oh, look, here's the funny idea, see? Flog them out cheap so they're bound to buy them, then ask the questions. Good Lord. I say, is that very, I mean, is it... Strictly... You want your job, don't you? Yes, I do. And I want mine, so come on, think of the right questions. The right questions. So you get the right answers. The right answers. Right. Here, yeah, Mike, you can have that for 10p. 10p? That's right. Great. There's only one thing, I ain't got 10p. Seeing as how you've got a job, you have got that job, ain't you? Of course I have. Well, you can pay me at the end of the week. In the meantime, you are the proud owner of a T-shirt. Now, sit down, I'm going to ask you some questions. Right, question number one. Have you bought a twang top T-shirt in the last six months? I don't think so. You just bought that one, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I have. Right. Yes, I have. Did you find it good value for money? Oh, yes, very good value. Now, how do I know it was good value? Only cost you 10p, didn't it? Yeah. Will you buy another twang top t-shirt? What, a 10 pence each, I should say so. Yes, I will. Are there enough supplies in your area? I've never seen one before. No, not enough. Will you tell your friends about twang top t-shirts? Well, tell them how I've got it for 10 pence, you bet. Yes, I will. Hey, this is looking great. Oh, I'd better see how this looks. Have you seen twang top t-shirts advertised? Often, not often, seldom or never? Never. Never. Would your friends buy them if they saw them advertised? Those suckers would buy anything if it was advertised. Yes, they would. That's what you call facts and figures. Oh, uh, what do you call this? We oh, my God. No wonder they can't sell the ruddy things. Look, I want my ten pence back. <laughs> oh, come here, come here. <laughs> What's so funny? I thought they were from six to eight year old. Oh, oh, look, you tear that up. Just a start. minute, just a minute. That is my survey. That's not a survey, that's a load of codswallop. It's a fiddle. Figures, figures, that's what it is. Figures prove things, right? Only if you know what to do with them. What do you mean if you know what to do with them? Look, turn them into pictures like these. Then show them to whoever wants to know. 